F the please, blood. Fuck Jakes. Stop snitching, fam. Are you listening? Let's stop this snitching thing, fam. That's what the man them say. Yeah. F the police. Yeah, till you need them. Stop snitching, fam. Until you're on an M charge. Don't get it twisted. There are some police officers out there. They're crooks. I read one news report. And I thought to myself, some police officers really are gangsters, you know. There was a syndicate of four police officers. And... They got busted, they got bagged because they were running up on drug dealers. So when the drug dealers had that, it was going to be picking up big bits of food or shutting off big bits of food, like kilo, no, no, look all idiot ounces here and there, like big bits, you get me? They're running up on them, backing out guns on them and robbing the drug dealers and that. So, yeah, there are some police officers out here who are crooks. Don't need to tell you that. But for the most part, most of the police aren't that bad. Yeah, sometimes they can be a little bit of a nuisance and that. But you have to ask yourself, why are the police a nuisance to you? Are you on the wrong path? Are you constantly finding yourself getting stop and search? And I'm telling you right now, if you find yourself constantly getting stop and search and that, you need to look at yourself. Why am I getting stop and search so frequently? Am I hanging about on the street? Am I up to no good? Am I not on the path of positivity? That's more than likely the reason why you're getting stop and searched by the police all the time. Because me, I don't get stop and searched by the police, man. You know what? Too busy. Too busy doing positive things to get stop and searched by the police. I remember one time, one of the men there, his car got nicked. And I've never had a car stolen or nothing like that. But apparently, obviously, when you get your car stolen or your motorbike, whatever, your vehicle stolen and that, you need to obviously report it to your insurance company and they say, yeah, you need to get a crime reference or you need to report it to the police. So I remember one of the men then was talking about his car got stolen or something. And obviously the insurance company said, you need to go to the police and report and get a crime reference and that. And he's explaining the story and he's like, yeah, like obviously man had to go to the police station and get a crime report or whatever. And like, a man was proper like justifying why he had to go to the police station and like, I think, why are you feeling so, I remember standing on the estate like chatting to, I remember a man's really feeling guilty, a man's really feeling like he needs to justify why he went to the police station to report his car being stolen. Like, blood, man take this no snitching thing and this F the police thing too seriously, blood. But I've seen situations like, Obviously, man, we've all seen them rap videos and that, especially back in the day where man are going back and forth and that. You remember the street selected and that? Um, man are making their diss tracks and that. And obviously, to the end of time, man are still going to say F the police and that. So, I see a lot of man say F the police and that. But I've seen a lot of man run to the police when they need the police as well. Now, man's heard stories and that. Man seen it live. There was one story man heard about. Couple man, you get me, local and that. It's an old school story though, and a couple man who's local to man in it in man's perimeter and that. North London. Some dark characters on the other side must have kidnapped someone and they were torturing them in some house or whatever. And they decided to move the guy that they're torturing to another location. Obviously, they had him in a car. Somehow, this guy managed to escape out of the car. And run to the police like half naked down the street. Ran into the police whilst the car was the police car was moving and that on the road. And I think to myself, I bet at some point, this is before the YouTube days, a man doing diss tracks and get me F the police and all the chicks saying it. But um, I, I just thought to myself, I bet at some point in this guy's life, he'd be like, F the police, F the police, ah oh, fuck Jake, get me, I don't need the police and the police could die, suck your mother and them chicks then. But yet still, in a time of need, in a time of crisis, you're running to them. One time I was in the ends, Edmund. We got a shop called Texas Fried Chicken. If you know, you know, you don't. If you don't, you don't. That shop there has been there since, I'm 30 years old. That shop's been there since before, man. I remember my mum telling me that she used to eat chicken and chips at Texas Fried Chicken when I was one years old. So you don't know that shop there's older than man. Isn't it? Anyway. I remember one time we was there chilling and 
You get me? Obviously, my area is Edmonton and that. But you know, like, you've got other men that are not from the ends who's the ops and that, but who's cool with other men and that in the ends. So one of the youths from the other side was in the ends, probably just checking one of his people. He was caught, he got caught lacking, caught, got caught slipping and that. One of the oldest ones said, yo, youngest, surround him. Next thing I know, I see a bunch of the men them just surround one You punch him up, punch him up, and he cut, ran down the road. Guess where he ran to? Edmonton Green Police Station. This would be the same you, this would be the same brother. We'll be saying, fuck the police, you get me, F Jakes and that. It's like, fam, you're running to the police station, fam. Like, come on, fam. I've seen other situations in that, like, like, let's say, for example, you see, there's a bear man here that will say, oh, F the police and that, but man are stupid. you got people out here who are not even involved in no criminal activity, you know, but they're talking about F the police, defund the police force and that. It's like, hold on a minute. Fam, the police presence is needed on the streets. Trust me. Imagine, imagine the police, yeah, said, you know what, they're going on strike. There will be no police force for a whole month. Do you know how dangerous, like, like really pretty situation, how big? Do you know how dangerous the streets would be if there was no police force, no police presence? Just think about that. Remember, if there's no police at all, who's going to protect grandma? Who's going to protect your mother? Who's going to protect your little sister when you're not about? Who's going to protect you? A lot of men, oh, I don't need protecting. Right, right, right. Bro, let me tell you something about that as well, yeah. See, a lot of men talk about F the police and defund the police force and that. Blood, I'm telling you right now, fam. If four goons kicked off your door, home invasion, held you hostage, you would beg that you find a phone somehow and was able to call them. Your home's been invaded and that. I guarantee you, blood. I guarantee fucking to you, if you got hold of a phone, all the man they're saying, oh, F the police, F the police. I guarantee fucking to you, if you was held hostage in your yard and you got hold of a phone on Sly, the first and only fucking number, even if you knew all of your brethren's numbers off by heart, the first and only number you would call is 99 Ras Clark 9, blood. So don't talk about F the police. And when you call them, you will want 5, 6, or a TSG van full of big police officers to lick off your door, smack up the use, and dash them in the back of a fucking van, bro. Man, watch podcasts and that. And man are talking about it. It's so funny. I've watched podcasts and man are talking about he seen one of the ops. He get me hot out of the car and the op is just cut. And then you get me. The op has phoned up the police and said, oh, they're going to kill me. And the man's saying the man's name on the phone, like the operator knows who the fuck this person is, blood. Like, come on. And this would be the same you that's talking about F the police, blood. Don't make no sense, blood. I'm telling you, if you, all the man they're talking about, oh, yeah, F the police. And I'm telling you, if you was held hostage in your yard, you would want the police to come to your yard, fam, and rescue you, fam. F the police, yeah, when you don't need them. But you ain't saying F the police until you need them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, even me, I've been stabbed in that. I, I've never really been one to talk about F the police. Obviously, I've said it. Obviously, I've said it. Everyone's probably said it at one time in their life, if they're a street man, innit? But me, I've never been really one to say, oh, F the police, F the police, and that. But one time I got stabbed in the 11 November... And back then, if you got stabbed or something like that, especially if you got shanked in that, if you snitch and the people that stabbed you got brought to justice and, and convicted, that you can get money for that, you know. So, it, you know, it was in my best interest to, you get me, I ain't, tell, I ain't talking to the police, blood. I ain't saying F the police, but me, I'm a man, man no, I don't talk to the police. Like my car, someone, I can't even say someone broke into my car. Someone went into my car because I left my car unlocked and teeth out my things a little while back. When my girl was like, oh, are you going to call the police? I'm sure my girl asked me about calling the police. I'm not even calling the police. What am I calling the police for? For them to turn up and say, okay, here's a crime reference and that. If my yard, if anyone broke into my yard and I weren't there, I ain't, what am I calling the police to say report a burglary and that? What am I calling the police for? But anyway, 
and the snitching thing. Man, I talk about stop snitching. Everything. Yeah, it's easy to say, oh, I'm not a snitch and that. Yeah, when you're on some little case where you might do a year in jail. It's easy to say, oh, I'm not a snitch. I'll never snitch and that. Blood, make you sit down and you know you're looking at 20 years, blood. The dynamics, the outcome will change. Man, they're pulling five men on an M charge. There's always a weak link in every chain. Someone is going to start talking. If certain men get offered 10 instead of 20, certain men are going to be talking because certain men are going to think, nah, man, I'm going to be missing my, my youth's best years and rare, 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 rare. Just like, I know Top Boy is fictitious and that, but that's, that's real life shit. That's real life shit. Even shit like, what, in the news, the latest series of Top Boy, when my man realised that he got caught busting shots to the police. That was that was one of the best moments, in it, yeah? The two top top two best moments, in my opinion, are Top Boy, the latest series, was, you know, when a madman was running after his gal and, that, and she, almost got, she almost got caught when she jumped in the cab and they came out of nowhere and they, they ran down the cab and that. That was a good scene. And one of the, the second best scene was when Asha D, Asha Waters, Ashley Waters and that was in court. And then that girl police officer stood up to give evidence and that. And he clocked all oh my days. That girl was an undercover fed the whole time. Because I met a man in jail, you know. I met a few men in jail that got caught busting shots to the police and that happens, innit? But, um, yeah, man. Man, I'm talking about, ah, oh, stop snitching that. Yeah, stop snitching until you're on a, a, a serious case. Like I said, in Top Boy, there was a scene, there was a situation where... I can't remember, I think the brother that was supplying guns or something. I remember there's one tall brother with plats. He had a ute and um, they were saying, look, if you if you snitch on, on the man and that, we're going to give you less time. And, and I can't remember what happened and that. But yeah, man are put in positions where they could get less time if they start talking. Certain man start talking. And certain man, certain man take this snitching thing. Just too far, man, to, to, to turn this. I know, man, like, they get me, their family members been murdered and that. And you get me, like, the, the you who's done it has got away. And, like, the family and that know that this person was there. And the family and the police are saying, listen, yeah, we know you was there. You, you've admitted that you was there and that. You're an innocent person, but you've admitted that you was there and that. But we need you to come forward and say it was him. That's it. We ain't got no evidence, we ain't got no blood, nothing. All we need is for you to come and come to court and say, yo, it's him. A certain man, no nah, fam. I'm not gonna give the family justice and I'm gonna let a, in, I'm gonna let a murderer walk free and that. A certain man take this snitch your teeth too far. Like, how, how are you gonna let your, your family member get killed and that? And you know his mum's grieving and that and you still decide to keep your mouth shut. Knowing that you're letting someone walk free and a mum hasn't got a justice for her son and that. So certain man they take this 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 snitch thing too far. Certain man they just they, they 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 think that they will never snitch in certain situations. I'm telling you right now, yeah. You on a, a, a M case and that and you're looking at 25 years, a solid 75% of men are gonna start talking. It's easy to, to keep your mouth shut on a local five year and but I would never want to even want to do five years, do two and a half. What I'm saying is I'm not even saying them them sentences there is little because your time is the most precious thing in this world. But it's easy to keep your mouth shut on a five year sentence and that or when you're looking at five years, but it's more difficult to keep your mouth shut on a twenty five year sentence, bro. So the man them that's saying, Oh, F the police and that, yeah, you're saying that only because you get me, things is cool and that you don't need the police. But I'm telling you right now, if you're in a situation where you need the police to save your life, but you'd call the police. You'd more than likely call the police. And if you're in a situation where you're looking at the rest of your life, spending the rest of your life behind bars and that, a lot of men are going to start talking, fam. A lot of men are going to start talking. Anyway, that's it for today. Stay wise. Done, man.